before we start the actual reverse engineering, it's always to place this part in the correct position in space. Quick surface, you can always turn on and off the coordinate system display so you can see where your object is. And our goal now is how to uh, set this mesh in the way that it's suitable for reverse engineering. For this purpose, Quick Surface has a um, couple of tools. One is called Align using the coordinate system and the one, the one is Align Interactive. Align Interactive is a topic in another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will just go and show you how to align this object in space using a coordinate system. Before we start, we actually need to define our primitives that will be used for this alignment. I'll temporarily just switch off the coordinate system display. So we can explore our object. And what we see is that there is a base plane here. Also, we have a cylinder, which will define our z-axis. And we have another plane. Using the normal tools, I will just select my plane and create an entity here. Press OK. Then I'll take the bottom plane from primitives menu. I will just make a best fit of this plane. And finally, I will just create my cylinder on the side. Once we have these three primitives, we are ready to align our object in space. First of all, let's think how <coughs> this can be aligned. Yeah, do we want the axis to be through the cylinder or we want the axis to be through the uh, line which is the intersection of the two planes? It really depends what you want to do. So we go and activate our mode which will help us to define this. The way it works, it uses three entities. They can be point, line, axis of a cylinder, plane or sphere. If we use a cone, it will take the axis of the cone. It is based on a first, second and tertiary feature because it gives us the priority how this um, coordinate system will be defined. So let's take our first step and I will click on my base plane. What does it mean is that our coordinate system will be defined in such a way that the base um, OXY plane, the bottom plane, will always lie on this uh, plane. You can, the user can choose which plane to map to our um, feature plane, or the user can flip the direction by just using the flip button. What we can see here is that the um, axis, they are colorized, red, green, and blue. But uh, also the user interface helps you to determine how well you um, define your coordinate system. In this case, if one of them is black, this would mean that the coordinate system is uh, constrained. This means that we cannot move this plane, uh, this coordinate system in Z direction but it's free to move in X and Y direction because we only provided condition that all we want at the moment is the coordinate system to lie on this plane, but nothing more. So that's why we need to add more constraints. So what what is the next what we want? Do we want to the X axis to be on this intersection or we want to go through the center of the cylinder? Let's analyze both. I will click on this. Um, second plane. As you see now, the coordinate system relocate and in such a way so the my y axis is exactly on the intersection of the two plane. So whatever we do next, this will not change. This is uh, where my coordinate system will be. As you can see now my x axis turned into black, which means that uh, we cannot move in this direction also. So it is constrained. So we have a choice now how to which axis to use here. By default, it, it picked the y axis, but the user can click on the other icon, and this will define that this is my x axis. As you can see, it flipped the bottom z plane, so we can 
adjust this and this is what, how we defined our um, coordinate system. The next step would be if I click the cylinder and now everything we have all the conditions so our coordinate system is fully defined. When you do this you can see a notification in the top right of the window that this is uh, uh, perfectly fine and now we have our coordinate system fully defined. At any point you can press reset and start again. Let's do another example. I will just start from my cylinder. As you can see now both X and Y are locked which means that we cannot move in this direction but we can actually rotate around Z and we can move in the Z direction. Now the next step would be that I may say okay I will just pick the bottom plane which means that now the coordinate system is defined in such a way that the Z axis is fixed along the cylinder and the bottom plane of OXY will lie on my plane. And the last step would be just to pick this uh, plane. Here you can also flip the direction so you can get this uh, information. In some cases you may want to add additional translation when you define this uh, coordinate system and simply by typing a numeric values here the coordinate system will be offset from where it has been defined using these um, features. And I will just reset this to zero and when I'm happy and I see my results I just press apply. What happened now it transformed everything into the global coordinate system so I can turn my global coordinate system on and you can see that the uh, object is aligned. I'll just uh, show my mesh so you can see, hide my planes and put it on top view. And now we are ready to move further with our reverse engineering. I hope this video is useful. Thank you for watching.